DB Connect. Splunk DB Connect is a new application that was designed to use Java technology to bridge Splunk with a relational databases. It allows Splunk to read data from Oracle Database, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, and many other databases, and enable to enrich the Splunk data with data that is available only in the relational databases. In addition to the database lookup, which does the database enrichment, Splunk DB Connect also allows the users to actually bring result like rows and tables from a database and import those results into Splunk and then allow Splunk to index that data and by indexing that data allows the user to analyze and visualize the relational database from within the Splunk UI. To start the demonstration, I'm going to create a connection between Splunk and the relational database. I'm going to click on the external databases. Once I click on the external databases, Splunk gives me an option to create a connection to the relational database. So in this case, I already created one connection against my local uh, MySQL. However, uh, Splunk allows us with a click of a button to enable Oracle Database, Microsoft SQL Server, and many more options, as well as you can create your own option to any JDBC enabled relational database. So that's the very first we, thing we have to do is to create a connection between Splunk and the database. And the, the external databases enable us to do it extremely fast. The second thing we have to do is either create a lookup or create an import and index. And so for this particular demonstration, I'm going to, first of all, bring in relational database and import and index that data into Splunk. In order for me to do that, I go into this option and uh, Splunk enables me to do a tail command. And the tail command in Splunk allows me to go in and select a specific column. And as that column gets increased, either it's a timestamp base or it's a sequential identifier base, Splunk then bring the delta from that particular table. In this particular case, I selected the employees table from the connection that I created earlier. And every time somebody update that table, I can then bring in the data into Splunk. And once I import the data into Splunk, I import it and index it. And Splunk create a data source called dbmontail. There's another option called dbmondump, which is, a, let's assume you just want to bring in the entire database. You want to import the entire table. And every time you import the table, you can then index it and search on it. So that's the very first thing we have to do is to select such an option to import and index a particular uh, data. And just to kind of show the runtime of this option, I created a search. And this particular search, I have two sources. The very first source is the, uh, the, the capability to do a tail on the employees table. The second one is the source that enables me to do a tail on the titles table. And once I brought in those two tables, I have the capability to use the Splunk join or the Splunk key value pair capabilities to visualize the data and then drill down into this particular data. And this is back to the power of Splunk to visualize and search index data in real time. And of course, we can drill down into this data kind of option from the raw point of view down to the visualization that I showed you a minute ago. So that's ability to import and index the data. The second, the second option that we have is to do a lookup on the database. And lookup is a little bit different. In the case of a lookup, 
we can do um, is the ability to enrich unstructured and um, basically machine data, enrich it with relational databases. So some of the data comes from the file and some of the data comes from the relational database. So in this case, I start the demonstration by showing you the, purely the raw data. And in the raw data, I'm looking at a file that brought in a whole bunch of employees and their hire date. But what we don't see here is the employee salary, the employee title, and any of the data that we want for to visualize the data, but we are unable to find it in that source data. Where do we have that data? We have that data in the relational database. So in order for us to combine those two worlds, we're going to Splunk and we create a database lookup. And once we create a, a database lookup, we are able to go in, select as before, we select the database in which we want to connect to, we select the table in which we want to bring the additional data to, and then we have to provide a few pieces of information. The very first one, we have to provide what key is going to match the um, unstructured data with the structured data, and then the additional, the values that are going to be brought in from the relational database. In this particular case, I bring in the title as, so I have the employee number and what the database will bring me is the title for that employee. And if we look at the Splunk DB Connect, I created an, a, a lookup that combined those two worlds. And when we do a, a lookup in Splunk, we use the Splunk keyword code lookup and we do a lookup where the employee NO is the key and the value is either the title or a different lookup is the value could be the salary from the salary table and so in this particular case I see that the employee number was brought in from the file but the salary and the title were brought in from the relational database so this is kind of the lookup capability directly against the relational database is the uh, the second feature of Splunk DB Connect. The third feature of Splunk DB Connect is the ability to go into um, a thing called DB Info, select the database, and Splunk automatically explore that data, allows us to drill down into the description of the data. What kind of columns do I have? What type they are? Again, without actually accessing the database at all. And then finally, ability to use a new command called the DB query. And the DB query command is the capability to have a free form version of a SQL 92 compliant to actually look at the relational database data itself, not just the schema, but the database itself. And the same capability is also available through the DB query. And the DB query option allows us to type in any option we want. Select star from um, titles where emp underscore NO is less than 10,300. I click on the search and that will give me the relational database data itself again within this user interface. It's called the DB query user interface. In both cases I can either use the DB info user interface or the DB query user interface or I can go into a, the the command the search command and type db query or I can type in uh, db info both are new Splunk search capability that allows me to go in and search the relational database directly from the Splunk user interface. And this is a short demonstration of uh, Splunk DB Connect. I hope you use this application and feel free to download it from 
Splunk Base and give it a try. Thank you.